Hey guys, welcome to Vlogmas Day 8. Not to brag, but it is a hot one today. The last few days in Florida have been super nice, like high in the 70s, low in the 50s. Really can't complain. I was prepping our stockings for St. Nick and I wanted to share this with you as it is a tradition my family has done every year since I was a little kid. Every year for St. Nick, which we would celebrate the first weekend of December, my cousins, me, my brother and sister, and all the family would get together at my Nana's house where we would put our stockings all laid out the night before. We would all have dinner together and play games and sleep over at my Nana's house. Then overnight, St. Nick would come and stuff the stockings with stocking stuffers, candy, little goodies, toys. Then the next day we would wake up and unwrap our stockings. I just remember this being so much fun. So I don't know if every family does this, but my family had a range of fruits and vegetables that St. Nick would gift you, depending on how good you were that year. The worst, the thing you absolutely did not wanna get is an onion. If you got an onion, that meant you were naughty. It's like the equivalent of getting coal. You do not want an onion. And if you get one, everybody laughs at you. The next is a potato. And honestly, when we were kids, almost everybody got a potato. A potato means you weren't bad, but you weren't great. Like there's room for improvement. Almost everybody would get a potato. The next thing is an apple. If you got an apple, you were good. Room for improvement still, but meant you were really good. Maybe you got some good grades or like got an award. But yeah, apple meant you were good. And the pinnacle of them all, the thing you most wanted, was an orange. If you got an orange, it meant you were great and you should keep doing what you're doing because you're doing great. A fun twist I personally like to do is the chocolate orange. I just think they're fun and delicious. One of the other things we would do as kids is feel the stocking to see if we could figure out what fruit or vegetable was in there because an orange feels very similar to an onion. If you wanna make your own St. Nick stocking, you're gonna need a stocking, stocking stuffers, some candy, some treats, some candy canes, some more candy, and the corresponding fruit or vegetable. Hey y'all, we're officially in week two. You might've been wondering where I've been for like the rest of the actual daily vlogs. I've been busy working on Hank, and Mindy has been like coming in clutch and crushing these videos while I've been crushing drinks. Speaking of, let's check out what we got today. Oh, cool. How fitting. New Amsterdam pineapple vodka. So I'm gonna let you in on a little secret while I crack this puppy open. We didn't know that apparently pineapples have a whole nother meaning than the fact that you just like to eat pineapples. That's what we found out. <sighs> That's pretty good. Oh, thanks. Sharing your pineapples? Comment below if you happen to know what the pineapples mean. See ya! That was funny. <laughs> as, 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 it, as it is a tradition. Because we didn't know. <laughs> I am not articulate at all today. Like, oh, pineapple. Like, yeah, man, I love pineapples. I got a core. 